Before you start, ensure that your patient has been adequately stabilized. Get all of your supplies out and ready to go. Pain relief and sedation should be titrated so that the patient can be comfortably positioned in dorsal recumbency. Clip and aseptically prepare the patient. I also prefer to drape the area. Gently extrude the penis and dislodge any material that may be occluding the distal urethra. Handle these tissues as gently as possible. Begin introducing the catheter while maintaining the penis extruded. If you encounter an obstruction, you may need to retropulse that material back into the urinary bladder by flushing sterile saline. You can apply gentle pressure to the penis to occlude the distal urethra around the catheter while your assistant flushes with the sterile saline. I find that pulsing with the flush is most effective. This part of the procedure can be tedious and time consuming, so remember to handle the tissues gently and you may need to try a different approach such as using using a different size of syringe for flush. Once the catheter passes into the urinary bladder, drain the urine from the bladder and save the samples for your analysis and culture. You can further flush the urinary bladder and urethra using sterile saline. Confirm the placement of the urinary catheter using ultrasound, and then connect the catheter to a sterile collection set and urine collection bag. Suture the catheter into place and further secure the catheter using tape to the patient's tail or leg. Indwelling catheters should be soft and flexible. 